Does it sound familiar? You want to monitor how your website performs and how it's ranked on Google. Or maybe you want to monitor what your competitors do, what kind of keywords do they get, and how good is their SEO. You want to collect all this data day by day, week by week, month by month. You can have a perfect overview of your SEO thanks to web scraping with Octopus. It's a free tool. The link to download it is in the info box. With Octopus, you can collect on a daily basis all kinds of information on Google. The number of results based on a particular keyword, the organic results from the first one to the last one, ads, related queries, and much, much more. On this tutorial, we will scrape organic results based on three different keywords. Let's get started. To start a new task in Octopus, we go to the home page and we simply type google.com and we click on start. The second step will be to import a keyword on Google. But first of all, I need to modify some settings. I'm going to turn on the browse mode and I'm going to click on accept. And the first thing I want to do, it will probably not be mandatory in your case, but I want to modify, to change the language settings from French to English. So I click on parameters, then search parameters, language, and English and I click on register and as you can see it's better to make sure that this change has been saved I will go to options use cookie and use cookie from the current page and I don't forget to click on apply another thing I want to remove this pop-up of course it will not affect extraction so you can leave it here but it could be annoying at some point so to remove this pop-up, I'm going to change the user agent. If you want to know more about what a user agent is, you can check our blog article in the info box. I click on the task settings, then I'm going to change the browser from Chrome 76 to Chrome 77. And I click on save. One, two, three, ta-da! Okay, it's much clearer. Now we can input our keyword. I turn off the browse mode, I click on here, enter text, and let's suppose I want to get results from the keyword web scraping. I click on confirm. We've got our research, I simply need to click on Google search. Click button, and here it is. We've got our results. Once again, I need to modify some settings before moving on. In that case, I will click on the click item part and I'm going to make sure that I open this page with Ajax. And in our case, we will set up a waiting time of five seconds, that should be enough. And I don't forget to click on apply. You remember, I promised you that we will input three different keywords and that will be our next step. To input multiple keyword, I will create a loop. So I click on add a step, loop, then I select the loop I've just created and look what happens here. The loop mode is set up on list of URLs. I'm going to change it from list of URLs to text list. I click on not set and I will simply import the different keywords. Let's start with data extraction web scraping, data scraping. I click on confirm and I click on apply. And now it is saved. I simply need to move my steps in the right order. So the go to web page will be dragged inside the loop item. Same thing for the enter text and same thing for the click item part. Now it's time to change the most important setting in this task. I'm going to click on the enter text and I will click on use text in the loop to enter the text box. Because if I don't check this box, 
I will scrape only the first keyword, but not the second and the third one. So I click on apply and in this scenario, I will extract all the results from my three keywords. So let's make another test. I click on loop item, go to web page, enter loop item. And as you can see now, it's no longer web scraping, it's data extraction text. And I click on click items and things works perfectly. I can extract my data now. I click on the yellow button and auto detect web page data. Look, I've got 11 lines, which stands for the organic results, but I can also get the people also ask part or the ads. But as I said earlier, in our scenario, we will only extract the organic results. I uncheck add a page scroll and I click on create workflow. I just need to delete the fields I don't need. For instance, this column is useless. And same thing for this one and that one. So I only keep the title, the URL and the description. So I delete this column too and I will type description. You know what is the biggest mistake beginners usually do in web scraping? They tend to scrape data super fast. And it's a mistake, particularly if you want to scrape data on Google. Because if you want to scrape data too fast on Google, you will encounter the capture recapture issue. And in order to avoid it, we need to slow down the scraping speed. So I click on the extract data part. I go to options, wait before action. And let's say I set up a waiting time of three seconds. Same thing, I click on apply. It's a really simple step, but please don't forget to apply it. Our task is almost over, but I want to add a little something right now. I want to scrape the page URL. Because remember, we want to scrape three different keywords. So in order to avoid confusion, I will add the page URL. I click on add custom fields, page level data and page URL. And that's it. It's really simple. Congratulations if you are still here at this part of the video, because now your task is over. We just need to save what we have done and to run our task. So if you have the free version of Octopus, you can click run on your device. And if you are a premium user, you can click run in the cloud. It will do things a little faster. We've got 680 lines. So for three different keywords, I click on export data and I save my file in an Excel spreadsheet. And here is your result. Hope my video got your confusion cleared away. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos regarding Octopus and web scraping. We will always keep you updated.